up, people? This is our Cobra. This is Let's Play The Witcher Free Blind. Last time we helped these two lovebirds solve a minor issue of their behalf. And we also got some sweet, sweet loot in the process. Let's see, we got... What did it get on a previous crossbow? Hmm, it's actually superior to even this. That's nice. It's nice that it's worth something. Geld of Rivia Sword, which is actually marginally better than what we have. That's great. That's real great. We have this, but it's heavy. It's great and all. I'd probably save it. But uh, we did have some armor. Ready? I'll save the armor though. I do like it. So, no selling that. And where well, we got a new sword. And we need a silver sword on, of course. That's probably not been helping. There we go. And then we got. Ah, yes. So, Geralt of Rivia's saddle. Which is actually... Better. So that's nice. That's actually nice with every single item here is better, even if only marginally. Because I remember back in the main game, where it was like, I talked to that... Viking Lord guy, who's just like, I can't come with you, girl, but take this family heirloom, that I may be with you in spirit. I'm just like, oh, great, it's worse than what I have. I'll sell this vendor trash and I'll think fondly of you as I do. Wow, it's fancy. Look at the handle of that thing. Greetings, Geralt. Hail, be praised. Yep, you two have fun now. So, what were we doing next? What were we doing first? Um, nah, we're doing, are we doing that way? Contract. Well, that's really as I move about and so on. Uh, not really well for playing Gwent. Should maybe go home and see how things are going. Yeah, let's go home first, and then... Yeah, let's do that, because that may make me stronger, and I could probably benefit from that. Where's the nearest post? Yeah, people have fucking banned me on here. Mm, okay, well. You know what? I'll just remove this and then just put over there when we get closer. I should be able to do that. But yeah, that is such a relief that it's actually better. Because, you know. Whoa. Yeah, let's follow this way up, and then we can jump ahead. But no, it was, it was also nice, you know, seeing a happy ending and things and so on. Honestly, it's something I've been talking with my boyfriend about, and honestly, I think over now I can say that this DLC is the best part of the game. Because I feel like it really handles the tone better. Uh. Yeah, things are going wrong, uh. there's grim things happening, but it also knows way more how to be lighthearted about and happy. So, you know, there's some contrast. The main game is just like, well, I solved the problem. Some elven bandits. Oh, so, well, elven bandits, you say? Well, clearly, we need to now go and kill every other elf we see just to make sure they know who's in charge. Here's your money, and then the quest just ends. You know, I'm gonna fucking stab you now, you son of a. Uh. So, yeah. But hey, we've been away for a while. See if they haven't fixed things up. Would be nice. Also nice I could hire a... Smith? Uh, 
There's a bit of stuttering there. Your items have been enhanced. Great. Well, progress has been made. And I do have a chest in here, which means I can drop some stuff off that I want to keep. Is it up here? That's up here. Well, I have a bad head, maybe. So I'm just trying to find a way over this. There we go. for something in the future. And there we go. This can next time the Smith be broken down. Anyway, I've been out earning some money, so I've been things we got. Renovations coming along all right. Wonderfully. The furnishings you last had me order have arrived. I noticed. Good job. Well let's do some more then. Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going. Refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Let's... What do we have for the house? Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Let's bruise the house up. It could do with that. It's in your hands, then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Lovely. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? No. Nope. That's all for now, BB. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know how they're already, you know, friends, but, I mean, they really feel like they're becoming friends. But yeah, this could use some refurbishing, some new paint and so on. I'm just going to take a nap till morning, and then I'll be up at all. Oh, my bed's going to be replaced. Lovely. Well, I guess I won't be sleeping then. I guess it is morning now, anyway. 5,000, though, what? So I have a dent to that make in my car. Hmm. Pretty much halved it. Well, I'm investing in this place's future. So yeah. So three days. Okay, so yeah. Then I thought about what is this? This seems like a good idea. Uh, it was a warm summer evening, or perhaps a cool yet sunny morning. The weather and time of no import. What matters is that the girl received a letter from Jennifer, who informed her about a most unusual discovery she had recently made. The firm mentioned a research contract with Professor Moro, Muro, Moro, blah, on which of mutations. It seemed this professor's workshop could be found in Tucson. Gail realized the importance of the discovery and decided to find this laboratory. The first step would be to find the professor's journal, which, according to Yen, had been buried with him. Gonna do a little bit of the old fashioned grave robbing. There we go. But yeah, we should go do a job. Earn more money. Because that mansion's not paying for itself. Oh. Oh. There you go, Roach. 
Sorry. Nice team. Not so fast, Roach. Let's see, we're just going directly south of this place. Let's try to not run people over. Watch out! Coming through! Coming through! Move, 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 move! The original Dogri monument will remain closed until further notice. What most? Why we wrote an entire day to see it. You're a cheat, sir. And we paid good coin for the tickets. Give it back. Your tickets remain valid. You must Why merely wait patiently for the exhibition to bottle. reopen. What's happening here? Please disperse. The exhibition is closed. What's this about? Oh, Lapiota, give me strength. I can't bear this, please. I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh, wait. Are you not that famous witch of Carol to Frivia? I believe I, am. I have work for you. Great. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? Sure. The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Look, you're really just blocking my way, but okay. Okay, so I'll see what you have to say and then move on with the thing I was interested in. Here it is. Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry. A giant among lovers. A poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Okay, so he mm. fucked good. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Ah. Somebody stole the testicles off a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. I see. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is. I see why it's popular. You must retrieve those stones. Okay. What do you Get know? my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Okay. Sounds like he got around. Any suspects? Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? See, it's like I said before, I'm going on a quest to find a giant statue's enchanted testicles because of the realty they pass on. That's hilarious. Then it's okay we have a meme story to focus on a serial murder of vampire and whatever else is going to come from that. Because that means we can take a break and try hunting down a statue's testicles. The main game had too little of this. When did they disappear? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Alright, I'll need to investigate. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. Don't worry, Reginald, don't worry. You shall be whole again soon. Yes. And this is um, great and all. But I was actually busy with something. I'll return to inspect the scene of the crime. Later. I'm glad 
glad to see her illustrious grace summon such a professional. I can't believe it. I simply can't. I have three tablets, none of which are suitable to show myself in. That's it, Roach. Lots of workers around here doing stuff. Help a better and the priest Slow now. Faster. Okay, I'm just trying to get somewhere, but I can clearly see something's going on in there. Oh, yes. Greetings. Oh, dear. Huh. Whose notion of order is this? Why doesn't someone do truly necessary? And our knights, what are they? Chop liver? <laughs> What's this about? Ah! The notice! Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. Hmm, should probably stop to, uh, investigating these. Is it the orange? I took the matter up with the ducal guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? Regularly? The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Hawk! Ooh! Fick! And then whack! Thud! As if a mother bear slammed pate first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. <laughs> I'll tend to it. Fine, I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? It might, but been a Could puggish be. one. It doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers, tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, Master. <laughs> yes, it's like we drank the gutter again. Oh. Here is the hero we can afford. Witcher, open the unbeliever's eyes. <laughs> uh, encouragement. Well, let's get to the actual graveyard. Ah, that's gonna help. Patrick Mullins talked himself to death. I'm almost curious to know how he managed that. Oh. You guys keep it down there? Jeez. Maybe it's those you can do. Martin Calicot, killed by his own ambition. Ugh, there's not enough people who have should have that on their tombstones. Science things written on. Man, it's still ton of Le Riandel, princess from a land far across the sea. Hidden treasure? Seem rude to just attack you guys because you have something I want, but let's be honest, you're gonna attack me anyway if you saw the option. That's not racism, it's really facts. 
Let us soak for one final pocket, better be ready. Bruce, don't do anything stupid. I know you buried Selena at the Bio Claire Cemetery along with the rest of the loot from our last heist. Remember, we deserve to cut of that too. So don't be an idiot. We all know you were her lover. But remember, she was also the leader of our gang, and that's what really counts. We never got our share for knocking over that jewel of Mathenburg's shop, so burying Selena with all the loot is pure jackassery. Those treasures belong to us all. Let's meet up and split things in an honest fashion. Then you can go drown yourself a leg or hang yourself from any branch you choose, Robin. To take a fresh and dip and say that we got Gary happened on a corpse. How far to be quelled? His son to dive into election waters. Yet on the corpse was proved to be that of a suicide. He found a letter. Let's spoke of a love that a bloom between Selena and Bruce, two famed Bill Clara's cat burglars. They always detailed said into the new story, but I didn't tell burglars' tale of a loot. I was a big spender, but there was a need of coin, but which you resolved to find the hidden treasure. I might as well see the real bloody here. A bit sorry for the gang. Wait. How far away do we want to go? Right up here. Okay, that's not so far. I'll be right back, Ro Ro Roach. Oh, here he comes. A hero. Um, Get now out, keep calm. Just trying to sheep the thought. <laughs> Can't hear anything. I want to look around anyway. Sure, go on. Drink up while you're young. Coin in hand. Mm. Tracks. Trampled grass and <laughs> bloomers. Not the kind of moaning he meant, though. I'm also here looking for something else than that quest, so, you know. One, two, three! Ready or not, here I come! Right, so people are banging at the cemetery. And not just the copper part, as he pointed out, apparently. Graves dug up. Thing is, grave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much. Eh, rest in peace. You don't even have any good Oof. news. Sorry. Sorry for interrupting your morning and so on. I'm really just looking for a hidden treasure here. Who would have thought? Knights trading in wine while some witcher guards them. Yeah, it's quite the quite world, isn't it? Down there, this is like is it in here. Okay. 
I'll try blocking a few more blows. Can't know for sure though. Need to wait till after dusk to confirm. Yeah, but I'm not here for the grave robbers. Well, I'll take their stuff. I'm here to figure out what the hell's up with the uh, treasure. Flatulence fluff of braces try to cheese again, but he won't get away with it this time. Take a pickaxe and a shovel and pay your daily part of boss a visit. Her kitty face was hideous to look at even when she was alive, so the very thought of looking at it is now she's dead gives me the bloody runs. Take my jewels, pearls, and other levels, bum nippling Bruce tossed into a grave. Oh, and if you see the milk stuff hanging around the cemetery, break his neck. Robin. P.S. Apparently, ever since Leah's death, the kid's been moping near Oral and Moore's cemetery, howling at the moon. If I know life, and I do, he's got with him the key to the chest was buried with that bitch. Perhaps we would end his suffering ending his miserable life in the lake. If he hasn't drowned himself already, that is. First day of service. So diddly bored. That's really sort all to do here. A quick morning rounds enough to water up the plants. Throw bed in front of the embassy doesn't demand much care either. And so it goes day after day. Maybe I'll tonight I'll take a jaunt to San Sebastian, play a hand of Gwent. Bloody Gwent, lost all months of wages. Next month's two. Racked up death with the great Bill Pellegrin. Heard he doesn't such things slide. Got to scrunch up a few forms somehow, and this mind badly for me. Oh, the best I can instruct his secretary. In the coming day, he'll send a transport carrying wine bought from the Imperial Court, along with some unused operational wear with that. I guess they mean a sack of stuff with Florence. Information like that could be worth a fortune to the lad from the right part of town. Great Bill Pellegrin slaughtered the caravan's guard, snatched all his cargo, had the girl to deliver a pouch of coin to me at the embassy, said it was my share. I spit on this coin, but I'm afraid I'll need it soon enough. I had what he gave me in a safe place. Ever since old Ralph died, no one buys wooden planters anymore, so this workshop's a perfect hiding spot. Grigobo told me to keep my ears open at the embassy, find out when they'll have another caravan to grab. As if as an afterthought, he added that the guard commander would be quite shocked to learn about my role in the previous hijacking. I still have an ex-convoy around from the secretary's office. It's a price I must pay for my idiot go idea of going cahoots with Grey Bill Pellegrin. The transport set off. This time it's got by Arnold. Eh, uh, boom. Kind of the embassy guard. Grippers men don't know they're in for a fight against elite soldiers. When he finds out, then it's time to get out of here. Going to the side should be enough to start a fresh somewhere far, far away. Max it like good direction. Go back to um, there. To turn and face the strange. You should my sword now, we're out. Oh, lovely trifles. Now then, if I can stop stumbling over the quests. And quests are already taken. Let's continue searching the graveyard. Nothing to see here. Move along. What do you think I'm doing? Martin Blanche, head of the Beauclair League of Bards. Philip Tisserand, collector of witches' blades. Only had one, but tried very hard. Well, hey, gotta give credit for trying sometimes. Kind of been easy. 
man, grave robbing is kind of popular up here. Thomas Morrow, M Morrow, Professor. Uh, something I can't read. Inscriptions in elder speech. Salvation lies not in Dol Nevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Eldarin. Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. And it's right outside of town. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Well, I mean, that's a clue. Footprints, narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light. Woman, maybe? Wonder where they lead. Well, let's find out. Damn it, trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me, I'll have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Elorin and Dolnevde. Valley of the Nine. Stay away from dead white wood. Forceful overgrown balls in the ground bits some kind of rancid gas. Plus a week or so back I sent a detachment men there, told them they were to do a bit of a concert, but that was all about wash. Oh. I think I already read that one. this one. Found it. Hmm. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Saratua flows through there. Must be where the Valley of Hawaii once lay. Need to explore the location. Okay, so how do we get there? Let's see... Yeah, we don't. There's nothing nearby. Okay, so... Should we go that way? I'll mark this. Alright. Alright, Roach. Not do enough dawdling? Whoa! We got work to do. Slow down. Come on now. This way. And then this way? And then this way. Sorry, there's a lot of turns here, Roach. <laughs> what are you stand for? Come on, move a little bit faster. That uh, sound should give you a nice big boost of stamina, so. Hang on, is that no that's way Whoa! Faster. Hey, we'll some, uh... Look at me. Roach. Brett adds a spring to your step. Why? Slower. 
That's great. Roach, to the right. Roach, have you have the locals been giving you Once some of them? Let his Slow now. What, Roach, are you really having trouble getting all these? Roach. Come Roach. on, Roach. There we go. Hey, you okay? Yeah. It seems like you had a bit of an accident here. Which of GPS is no help right now? You, you the look of a knight. Over there, monsters have come. Yeah, I can see that. Something else good against that? Christ, what the? Oh, yeah, big guy. Um, hmm, awkward. Awkward. Oh, well. How far back are you sending me, game? Hmm. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Some retour for Yes. It's through there. Must be where the Valley of the Nine once lay. Need to explore the location. Witches make you go grey. Unbelievable. And here the trail ended, so I just went this way. And that's when ship went. You! Hey! Put the blades on your back! Help us! Look! Monsters all about! Chasing down witches <laughs> make you go grey. But how? And why? Get that out of the way now so I can benefit from it.
Where's it going? Hello? Oh, jeez. This is distance. You, you look of a night. Over there. Monsters. Yeah, I bloody well see it. I'm fighting them. But never this fucking vineyard is like really obscuring everything they do. Stay back, I'm not done yet, citizens. Gotta blow this up if I want to get rid of the Endriggers. It's been a while since we've blown up a monster nest. There we go. Part of the journal only latest entries legend will remain page stuck together with dry blood. I cursed every day I have to grumble and toil for Count Crespi. Now I curse every day I cannot serve him. Now I know why he was so harsh, so domineering, so quick to anger. One cannot remain calm and good natured when so many troubles crop up every day in one vineyard. Now I, as steward of Belgard, must deal with each of them. The girl just the Count hired before his strange death has disappeared. With him went the hefty sack crowns we sent him, and the study we had hired him to complete. Till he feels infested with giant centipedes, and a breathless page just went up to inform me something attacked with open lines. Up running, I'm off to see what all the panic's about. Well, I'm... Um, I'm sorry to say, but you found out. Yeah. Then you are then you infested by monsters. Yep, that it was. Yeah, it's gonna be the best fixing that. A high and mighty northerner dog diddled dungly. The days pass. The pile of work remains. We uh, I thank you. We are high and I mighty northerner dog people dung. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't do more. The guy's dead. There's no way I can fix that. Take it easy. Regis. Couldn't have picked some other place to meet. I'm not really sure what just unleashed a fucking artillery barrage on me, but uh, I do know that I'm out of here. Wolves. Monster nest. Oh, jeez! Those fucking plants! I remember you! Means they're not really doing much to me right now because I'm still on the deck of the gold memorial. Yep. On the effect of that, its direct poison attacks are healing me. I mean, wow. Panthers. Huh. Pussycat, Pussycat, where have you been? I've been to Sintra to look at the Queen. Pussycat, Pussycat, what did you there? Run for that's not a can the cat but a panther. There, panther. Panther? Very under attrition for crime. 
Pussycat, Pussycat, where have you been? I've been to Cinder to look at the Queen. Pussycat, Pussycat, what did you there? One foot was not a cat, but a panther. Oh, that one's painful. Uh, sorry, it doesn't work. Panthers are dangerous predators found in forests and other woodlands. They're quick, agile, and like all cats, they're boggly cunning. In many less than thoroughly urbanized areas, folks still believe panthers are the stranded source of those who die in their sleep. Superstition hole, this holds anyone perishing in his way should be dragged to the nearest woods and left there without burial. The panther spirits of the deceased may then devour its own body, thereby passing on to the nether realm. This belief must be eradicated by any means, so it leads to epidemics of cholera, cholera and other diseases diseases upon acquiring corpses. Besides, it is painfully ridiculous, given panthers are not necrophages who will not consume carrion of any sort. They prefer more spry and lively prey, such as steel, even humans, provided they are not ill and do not stink too badly. Archbolts. Looks like a flower to me. A hideous, disgusting flower. Blasco Tenaby, last words. Archbolts look like gigantic, aesthetically unpleasing flowers, with some of the traits of exceptionally cruel and bloodthirsty sundews. They are, however, far more dangerous than even the most colossal sundew. Their peculiar appearance makes them practically impossible to discern amidst other plants. By the time one draws close enough to realize what they are, it's often too late to flee. According to popular belief, archbolts are cursed plants grown in salt fertilized by the blood of the dying. They are most often found in places where they in the past saw pogroms, bloody rituals, or cruel murders. Four types of archbolts have been catalogued to date, differing from one another in terms of colouring. Brown, the least dangerous. Green and purple, the most dangerous. The far variant said to have been cultivated by major from Ban Art is the yellow archbolt, whose strength is similar to that of its green coloured cousin. Gotcha. Well, be that as it may. Archospores will sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Well, I do. Let's liberate this place from this bird. There. That should make the area safer. Unless of these fucking plants sprouting to fucking bombard you. Hmm, that reminds me. Um, we have this whole... Curious. Yeah, I haven't even passed any of those by. They're not even nearby where I'm right now. Oh, that was a fun little thing to look at. Um, turn and face the strange. We must continue then down here. Slow now. Oh, no, no, 
Geralt, Geralt, we want more oxygen. Geralt, what are you? Geralt! Geralt, surface man! I feel like I kind of struggle with the crossbow in this game. Maybe my middle mouse button is not that responsive. It's not a button I use a lot. I was investigating down here. Hello. Well, there's some stuff. I hope there's fucking treasure here. Yes. This, this has been an economically worthwhile endeavor so far. Something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store. Let's just loot everything. Never know what. Someone's got. I just want to know if there's anything in the bag. Slim. No way I can slink through there. Need to find a way around. So we have a competitor. Whoop. I was about to ask, are those two about to come alive? That's a big pair of pussies. Nothing like nothing but my big nothing that my wishes all can't fix well. There we go. Well, I imagine our 
The intruder must have um, heard that. Oh, I'm on the way feet of the arch falls. I can see the indicator. down, but I see a chest down here, so let's try it first. Yeah. Blood soaked. Grave robber was wounded while attempting the climb. Needed to bandage up. Managed to avoid the panthers at least. Lots of stuff. Since certain suspicious individuals have begun hanging around outside my laboratory, I've been forced to implement additional security measures. I expect they are becoming criminals looking for something shiny to steal, and I'm not really interested in my research, but better safe than sorry. Furthermore, under the advice of an engineer in Quint's mind, I've decided to secure the premise with a simple mechanical apparatus. In one of my room, in one of the rooms along with the router laboratory installed a mechanism for locking and unlocking the doors, which operated by pressing four protruding stones placed to high upon the wall. I could bypass this lock with ease by using a simple spell, but a common fear will be faced with a double challenge. First, you must note the stones and possibly out their purpose, then you must find a way to press them. That's useful now. And here, that's a very noble bolt of bloody scroll and I suppose there is a dead body here. So what you got wounded in that whole thing and when you crawled up here and died? What a way to go. Oh let me guess the boulder came out here, classic boulder trap and so on. Yeah. something like that myself. How did you end up there? It just kind of precious skeleton didn't fall apart. Not 
Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. Well, we're not gonna use it. Gotcha. Beam going through the wall. Oh, over there. Wow, this feature of the room barely still exists. Ah, did it. I thought I was at a hole there for a sec. Gold. Okay. Hmm. Interesting as places go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Should look around. They seem liable to explode in my face. Hmm. Impressive. It's just decoration. <laughs> Figured as much. Uh, it's actually there, so I just slid out of this little niche there first. Great portals. This just keeps getting better. Let's have a drink. And then let's keep moving. Which portal leads where? Does it just lead up? All right. Now to find the next portal. Damn it! Back where I started. Okay. So we went in here that goes to the next floor. Then this one will take us further up. Damn it! Back where I started. I suppose one option is also that we go in here and then go through the same hole. Damn it, wrong again. Could be some clue around here. Wait, that was wrong? Now, yeah, because we would have gone through here. Alright, right. Now to find the next portal. Started. Mm. Does one of these portals have a feature none of the others have? This Hang on a second. I noticed something. This portal has this sort of uh, design. These don't. That might be indicating which one it is. Oh, wait, they don't have that design up here. Then. Alright, now to find the next portal. Well, it seems like it's the correct portal, it's the one over there. Get to that. Unless this is even the same room. 
room, it isn't. This room's actually different. Just different, uh, just same enough that you might think you're in the same place. And the statue's pointing this way, so if there's a statue in every room, perhaps they point the way. Right. Now to find the next portal. The statue is looking this way. Yes! It was the statue's direction. Must be where Moreau had his lab. Well, time to loot everything that isn't nailed down. Need to pick an entry? Okay. The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor. One greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken. For it relates to me personally. To myself and my son. Fascinating. And fifteen years passed. A beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid. Saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witches, my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. You know, maybe you guys shouldn't take kids, maybe so, just... No, Professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations. Wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. Crystal for this entry's missing. Might be somewhere. Should look around. Well then, why don't we look around? Okay then. Since you seem to want to look at them all before we have the correct sequence, sure. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the glass terrarium, the eggs do not develop, remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated they are, Luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumin will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Okay. That's... Crystal for this entry is missing. Might be somewhere. Should look around. Right. That might be useful if you. What? Okay, just seems to be taking the mutants these days. So yeah. Okay, let's try. One more. Y 
years of experiments, research, sacrifice, all for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism, that which I meant to restore to him a normal life, only deepened his mutations, further augmented his speed and strength, rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. You know, your son's existence was not contingent on him being fully human. Hmm. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. So, professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them though. Used the albumens of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. I also believe we should get his... Missing... Crystals. Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. No, now it seems like he'll stay here. There. Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? Before we do that, I believe we really ought to get the complete notes. The library. Mostly tomes on mutations and genetics. Before embarking on any consideration of the mutation of the by witches that are research, but one should be aware of the specific physiology and biochemistry of these individuals. The transformation they experience during the trial of the grasses, which are widely considered to be irreversible, cause witches to become infertile while significantly increasing their physical strength and sharpening their senses. The process also deprives witches of emotions and human reflexes. Deprive them of emotions. I think we've seen them enough. That's not the case. Deprive them of human reflexes. I'd say it's more like it enhances them. Well, the information about the trouble of the grass is novel information to which young adepts of the witcher craft subject to the strictly protected by master witches and witcher sorcerers. Ludovic and Celestine of Ban uh, claimed the album of Grey Skull of Pentamorphs, the strain of giant centipedes, more commonly known as Pale Widows, because due to the base of vision mutants, however, all research confirming this theory has been lost. Crystals. Should mount them in the megascope. Missing two crystals. No longer. Just need to pick an entry. Let's see what it was we didn't learn. Probably important. Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this could be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Hmm. Sounds useful. Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. And then your next engine was everything In addition, failed. I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did in a sense come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. You know, these crystals are not the greatest storage device ever. Like, it's nice that they're there, but, you know... 
you can barely leave a lock in off. Dearly, I pay for my wrongs, being exiled from the beautiful deserts and steppes of Ophir to this hideous green country where all the sense of flavors are intended to make me sick, fills my heart with so much regret. One accomplice me to be the small colony of Scolopendros, or more scientifically speaking, Scolopendromorphs, here referred to as giant centipedes, living in the vicinity of my hut. These wonderful creatures, the sight of which reminds me of home, have most likely chosen this area to settle in because of the presence of shale mass, whose droppings constitute the food of small animals, which in turn are consumed by Scolopendros. Sometimes sneak up on them when they are feeding and admire their hooked limbs, mandibles so sturdy seem made of iron, and chitinous forces are shut enough to let one to gaze upon one's reflection. Okay, we get it. You're really into those centipedes. It's fine, it's fine. I'm not one to judge. Among the fascinating flora and fauna of the Duchy of Toisan, one also encounters certain creatures of this highly unpleasant sort, such as the giant centipedes. Not only do these beasts look hideous to the eye, I disagree, they're adorable. They can do colossal damage to the flesh as well, and decide their eyes against them. A visitor to Toisan, one of the many guides offered by Peter and Saphlis. Giant centipedes are enormous insect-like monsters which can be found in many places in the world but are particularly common in the lands, or more precisely under the lands, of Tuazan. There they often dwell in close community with gel masks for a sort of monstrous symbiosis is developed between them. Giant centipedes feed on the small creatures which eat shell mark dung. Our chitinous armor covers nearly the entire body of a giant centipede. Sticking out from under this carapace are rows of hooked limbs. Giant centipedes are able to burrow into the ground with shocking speed or to then appear back on the surface in another place. Once we select a target, they will circle it determinedly, trying to get close enough to deliver a blow. They attack primarily with their powerful mandibles, but they also possess glands, allowing them to spew acid. But the greatest obstacle when fighting giant city peaks is their thick armor, which reflects most blows, not only from weapons, but also from magical means, such as those dealt by simple spells or witcher signs. Hmm. When attacked with a weapon, they often pair with strikes to quickly reply with their own force of counter. Thus, the best method for fighting them is to catch them in an Urden trap, keeping them from protecting themselves with their armor or burrowing into the ground. Neat! That is the information that I need. Is there anything else? Preserved organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. I mean, considering the guy in the thing over there. Okay, so this is gonna be a way out. That's fair, that's fair. Let's go hunt some centipedes. is armored. Jesus Christ, no. Um. Heal, 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 heal. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. Cotton Twain. Oh. Okay, I guess I found a way back here if need be. Actually, just meant to step up to the doing ledge, but uh. There's no reason to take the rest of the eggs. They might survive in there, or they might not. and I'm dressed as I can get. In no point in machine wearing a full gear, then how do I start to drop my armor, leave my weapons? Ah. There. Is that good enough? Professor's mutagens might work on me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. Get rid of the guinea pig! One nice centipede bath later! Do you feel better, girls? You unlock the mutation system. Mutation that you gain new capabilities in creature adventure and all men give you an edge and kill monsters. Put more on the character panel. Oh, sweet. Proceed to open the mutations panel. To mutation, you first must research them. To do this, choose one of the available mutations. If mutation research is finished successfully, you must devote the required number of building points and mutations to it. Advanced mutations. Choose one of the advanced mutations. To do the advanced mutation, you must first develop all the more basic mutations once. Which one of these can be found in the mutation description? Deadly counter. Sword attacks deal 25% more damage to human opponents, immune to counter attack and monsters. In all, all other cases, if the attack attacks less than 25, a counter attack immediately triggers a finisher. Toxic Blood. Each time you injure in a melee combat, the attacking opponent receives damage in the amount of 1.5% of the damage deal for every point of your toxicity level currently. Huh? Signs can do critical hits for critical chances. Well, I want this one first, but that means it needs a great red mutagen. Okay, let's. Alchemy, alchemy. Let's see. That, I need red mutagen. Points and a green. Okay. Well, 
What are mutations can be active at any given time? The strength synapses mutation improves on magma to develop all mutations as dust can additional ability slots. Right. So even though I can only benefit from one, I am also benefiting from researching more. Awesome. Bloodbath. Each fatal blow dealt by the sword dismember the enemy or activate a finisher. Each blow dealt by a weapon in a melee combat increases attack power by 5% of the combat ends. So much close to take damage. That's cool. We have to close the character panel. So see what mutations come up to open the mutation panel of the character panel. The strength and synapse mutation mutation improves the magnitude of the new mutation as it does it locks additional ability slots. That'll be nice. Well, radiation <laughs> social rotation has advanced to the next level. Thanks to stress transmission, you have this disposal. We are able to actually next level match match the color of the activate mutation. Advanced mutation distinguished by the yellow color require multiple type mutant, but allows you to use any abilities from the combat science or alchemy group. Oh wow, I can finally actually put something new from here in there. What do I want? Strength training, strong attacks deal damage by 5%. Time slows the of the in crossbow. And I don't know what's going there. Play footed. Undying, I'm sorry, I don't know what means because I'm stored. I'm stored based upon the number of adrenaline points used. I don't know what I'm able to small portion of it will be restored. Again. Oh, that'll be cool. It's finally great to be able to upgrade my character again. Ugh. <sighs> That's cool. Hmm. Never did see a mysterious uh It's actually better. Wait, no, it isn't. I don't know. Cool. I am now an even stronger witcher. Hmm. A power cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. All day. Oh, wait. Let's make landfall and then. Pause for today. It's certainly been uh, worth it. has truly done me a favor. I might even deign to acknowledge her existence occasionally because of this. Occasionally. If I feel like it. Which I won't. But you know, it's the principal thing. I might have, so that's that's just as good. Yeah, next time we'll do the whole this whole thing. Seems cool. Um well, yes, but they're all in the town. 
I bet there's a place to transport around from up there. You know what? Let's get up there first. I bet they have a waypost. So we go up there, and then we can end for the day. I mean, if anything happens on the way, we'll take care of that. But let's get up to that town. Let's it be. Hey. Guess it's a champion. <laughs> yep. Slow now. I figured they'd have something like that. Hey ya. <laughs> tip of the hat to the tourney. Thank you. Thank you. Squire wanted, I seek a clever lad, one with a good report with horses for a squire. As an experienced knight, I can promise where I take on a fantastic opportunity to learn not just the knightly arts, but also the impeccable manners and the least of high society, Gabriel de Pasternak. Guide wanted, in my capacity as a scholar of the Imperial Academy, I have spent the better part of the last two decades studying ancient elven culture. My most recent research bears the working title The Influence of Ancient Elven Architecture and Human Structures. I am aware that Cor Roberta Woos has been classified as extremely dangerous by the Ducal Guard. But to true scholar, the quest for knowledge is what matters most more than life in life itself. That's why I seek a local hunter on night to be my guide, uh, guide and guard. Serious offers only. Respectfully, Johan Neskens. Will by bees. I'm a beekeeper. That is to say, I was since last year. Monsieur's plague wanted all the bees in my hives, and I won't stop stoop to stealing wild ones. If you have any bees for sale, I'll gladly buy them. I'll wait. Huh. Looking for a damsel in distress. I'm a novice knight errant and like to gain renown for heroic deeds. So if you know of a damsel in distress, let me know. I prefer one imprisoned in a tower by a giant, and I'd like her to be no older than myself, that is to say, 20 summers. Oh, and she should be as slender as a reed. Hercule de la Mesu. Yeah. I've seen no I've seen ghosts. I'm looking for others who like me have encountered a strange presence in the Carabata Woods. Would like to discuss what we experienced. Dagobert. Fortune's windy at close and further notice. During an attack by hideous creatures resembling all grown insects, we own a Fortune's vineyard to send serious injuries. As a friend still presence, Fortune's vineyard will be closed into further notice. On serious apologies. Well, at least I helped a little bit with that. <laughs> yeah, but we're heading back to town. Let's go in the entire one and sit down and have a rest. Aim to hop on a horse after making merry. I think I'll just take this corner and then. But for now, this has been Eric Cobra and this has been Let's Play. Hmm. The Witcher Free Blind. See you all around. <laughs>